Coming up on Eagle Vision News, a powerful quake shakes up Italy. And violins showcase their skills at the annual Pumpkin Pie event. And our reporter Jessica Brest explains the animal that could be a surprising answer to the MRSA bacterium. Welcome to Eagle Vision News and happy Halloween from the EV team. I'm Jennifer Jensen. And I'm Brooke Carlucci. Well, the fall season is upon us and it looks like surfers at Newport Beach are embracing the Halloween spirit. They are. If you take a look at these graphics that we have for you here, you can see that over a hundred surfers got dressed up in their Halloween costumes and went surfing. Now look at this skeleton. He's looking more than alive right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Your Halloween puns are killing me. Oh, gosh, sorry. <laughs> well, for tonight's news, here are our top stories. Early voting began in L.A. County Saturday, and the turnout was so big that the registrar extended voting hours. This was the first time the county registrar's office has done early weekend voting outside the Norwalk headquarters. Some people waited in line for nearly four hours to cast their vote early. By law, if you're in line to vote by closing time, you cannot be turned away and will be able to cast your ballot. The Norwalk office will be open every day of the week until the final voting day on November 8th. A powerful 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake hit central Italy on Sunday morning, making it the strongest earthquake in more than 30 years. The earthquake precedes tremors that happened last week in central Italy and a devastating quake that occurred in August, killing nearly 300 people. Currently, at least 20 people are injured and about 15,000 people are also without electricity. Since the earthquake, they have continued to track the fault activity and have noted about 200 aftershocks. Six people were injured in a fiery car crash on the Pacific Coast Highway Saturday afternoon. Authorities said the crash happened around 545 on the 14800 block of the highway in Pacific Palisades. After the collision, one of the vehicles caught fire. Three men and three women were treated by paramedics. Four of them suffered minor injuries, while two others were seriously injured. The current conditions of all of the victims is still unknown. The cause of the crash is still unknown as well, and all the lanes of the Pacific Coast Highway were blocked until shortly before 8 p.m. when the scene was cleared. A woman who was reported missing five days ago was found alive Saturday evening in a crashed Hummer near the Adelanto in the Mojave Desert. The San Bernardino County Fire Department received phone calls shortly before 6.15 p.m. about a crashed vehicle that had rolled down a hill, trapping one person inside. Because of the difficulty in the terrain, it took firefighters, sheriff's deputies, and search and rescue workers about an hour to find the vehicle. When they stabilized and rescued the woman, the rescuers learned the woman had been reported missing five days earlier. The woman, described as an older adult female, was flown to an Arrowhead Regional Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. Her name has not been released, and it is not immediately clear how she came to be reported missing. Campus was packed these past few days. Parents and siblings joined students here for Family Weekends. Yes, and we can't forget the annual Pumpkin Pie Show that happened, mm -hmm. the talent show. We have our reporter, Alyssa O'Hara, to give us the scoop on Pumpkin Pie. Pumpkin Pie is Biola's annual talent show hosted by the Student Programming and Activities. Alumni, faculty, parents, staff, and students all came together for a night of free fun. Seeing the different acts, I love spoken word, I love poetry, but I love different art forms. So like I've seen uh, piano, I've seen yo-yoing, I've seen different things like that. And I think it's so beautiful that we can, we can share in creating with the creator and how we can express ourselves in different art forms and whatever that looks what like. What brings me, um, I'm here to visit my daughter in her first semester at Biola transfer student and I'm excited to get to see the campus. Yeah, I really enjoyed Pumpkin Pie last year so I'm really excited to see like the talents this year and also just to spend time with my friends and yeah like um, a few of my friends parents are here so it's like gonna be a great time to meet them. Pumpkin Pie was hosted on McNally Field this semester. Ten unique student acts are featured tonight and three will go home with prizes ranging from $500 to $300. Steven Chavez wins third place with his one-man mariachi act. Second place goes to Zach Elson with his multimedia comedic rap. And in first place is Jonathan Williams with his series of yo-yo tricks. 
After the show, all these tables that you see right here will be filled with pumpkin pie and hot drinks for anybody to come and enjoy. Overall, participants got a good glimpse of the talent and culture that surrounds this community. This is Alyssa O'Hara, Eagle Vision News. If you're wondering what to do with all of that extra Halloween candy, our reporter Jessica Brest has some helpful tips. Yes, I do. Now that Halloween is over, a new study has given people a reason to pay more attention to their leftover candy. The Gettysburg College in Pennsylvania performed a study this week on the best way to boost your mood while eating. The study found that mindfully eating chocolate will improve your mood even more than when eating chocolate without thinking. Mindful chocolate consumption encourages people to slow down and think about their eating experience. When people take the time to focus on their food and enjoy it, their mood is more directly influenced. By mindfully eating chocolate, people can maximize the positive effects it has on their mind and mood. And if you're wondering what kind of chocolate gives you the biggest Isn't mood boost, sticking to dark chocolate and there we is have probably it. your best bet, A lovely, to many lovely. online articles. In other health news, the infection MRSA may soon have a new treatment coming from a surprising source. MRSA is a staph infection caused by an antibiotic-resistant bacteria. The infection is highly contagious, making it a common problem on many college campuses. Fortunately, a treatment is being formulated for this superbug, thanks to an animal famously known for its debut as a character in the show Looney Tunes, the Tasmanian Devil. Australian researchers have found that the marsupial carries important peptides in its milk, which may be the key they need to fight MRSA. While experts continue to research this new treatment, you can learn more about MRSA and how to avoid catching it by picking up a pamphlet at Biola's Health Center. And now we have reporter Christy Hanafi here with us to give us Biola's weekly campus update. Christy? Thanks, Jen. This past weekend was Biola's annual family weekend, where parents and families of students came to visit their precious eagles. The weekend kicked off on Friday with chapel as families were able to step into the shoes of students by experiencing a typical Biola chapel service. Afterwards, parents were able to immerse themselves further in the university life by attending a classroom experience complete with a lecture from a Biola professor. The day continued on with even more activities like the SoCal-style block party right before the much-anticipated pumpkin pie talent show held on McNally. Who doesn't love sitting out on a beautiful fall evening with a slice of pie and hot cider with friends and family? On Saturday, the annual Iron Eagle 5K run occurred with DBC leading the pack. Just another reason why we love him so much. More activities commenced and the day ended with the PRISM concert, the yearly showcase of musical talents in the Conservatory of Music. Voter registration closed last week. Reporter Jessica Brest takes us to the streets to see if Biolans are prepared for next week's election. And with that, this has been Jessica Brest, Eagle Vision News. You know, it's actually pretty incredible. Over 18 million people are registered to vote this year in California. Including myself. And me as well. I'm looking forward to seeing how this election turns out this year. But first, our reporter Kiara Bernal is in the Weather Center with a photo for us from Halloween in Hollywood. Kiara? 
Thanks, Brooke and Jen. Yes, this photo behind me is taken at, in West Hollywood. Um, it's from a WeHo Halloween Carnival event that takes place annually throughout the streets of West Hollywood. And there is an, supposed to be an estimated half a million people to show up to tonight's event. So we're going to be expecting some road closures. So um, be on the lookout for that if you happen to be in that area. So let's move on to our currents. Okay, so this morning it was a cool 56 degrees and bumped up to 70 in the afternoon. And again, in the evening, it is going to go back down to being a chill 55. And if you take a look down low, we have our sunrise at 710 and our sunset at 6 o'clock exactly. Moving on to our national forecast. Okay, so fall is here in Southern California, everyone. Today was a beautiful 65 degrees and 67 in the Southern California area. Unlike everyone up in the East Coast with it being in the low 40s. So it looks like we totally skipped fall there. Just like um, down here in the Southern area where it looks like summer is still happening with it being in the high 80s. But let's move on to our seven day forecast to see if our fall weather um, continues. Okay, so Monday, happy Halloween again, everybody. Today was a beautiful day with it being in the 70s. And tomorrow we will also see that great warm fall weather with it being 71. But as for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it will go up. The temperatures will rise to the low 80s. But the fall weather will continue for Saturday and Sunday with it being in the 70s. So a beautiful fall week that we're going to be having. So continue on doing the fall activities, jump in a pile of leaves, carve another pumpkin, order a pumpkin spice latte, whatever you guys feel like doing. So I'll send it back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Kiara. Well, that's all we have for you tonight, but be sure to join us next week for an update on all that's happening with the North Dakota Access Pipelines. And we'll take you to the March on Yes for Prop HHH. But until then, you can keep up with us online, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Biola EV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see previous shows. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.